tired as anything. I went to bed at 4.30 a.m. and it's now 10 a.m. My eyes hurt. Beautiful day in England. So I'm ready, I'm changed, rocking, rolling, bags back, going, heading, London. This time, I'm not forgetting Ron's watch. Starting this day. Thanks for the ride, Dad. <laughs> Appreciate it. I will be back. He's a good dad. Drove me all the way to the train station. Next stop, London. Actually waiting for my train. Ice vanilla latte. And at 11.23, oh, London, Euston. But it's running late, I think. Awkward. Well, I spent my entire time on that train editing my vlog, so I hope I get it uploaded on time. Should be done, but hey, hey, we'll find out. Meeting up with a wife. I hope she's waiting with flowers and stuff like that. Probably won't be. Where's my flowers? No flowers, no ch- Yeah. Okay, that, that's a fair point. Okay, made it to my hotel. Dude gave us an upgrade, which is pretty damn saucy. But uh, yeah, phone battery packs ran out and I've got 20% battery. And I don't think the hotel key works. <sighs> That's a fancy ass floor you've got going there. Ooh. Ooh. This is a nice ass room. It's nice. Wait, it said it had a city view. Oh. A city view of what? Oh my God, this collapsed. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'm not sneaking out on the roof tonight, but um, I'd say a beautiful view, but you can't really see much. Okay. It's very, it's very London, that's all I can say. Saying it right now, this hotel is an absolute godsend. Um, first of all, the guy gave us an upgrade. Really happy with that. Second of all, they have 50 upload. And even better, complimentary, complimentary minibar. I've already raided parts of it. There was two bottles of water and chocolate bar, that's about it. But when have you he ever heard of a complimentary minibar in a hotel? Vlog's up, and it's only half past two. I'm gonna be impressed by this bathroom, by the way. You know why? It's nice, it's modern, but oh my God, there's a TV in the bathtub! Oh my Lord! This place is sick! I'm like really happy with, look, like you close these doors, right? When you open it, the light comes on. Yeah, that, that, that is literally the simple things that impress me in life. This is a nice hotel. Who the hell is this guy? Ooh. Not quite sure. Rocking that limited edition shirt. I don't know why. This is not even like the final version, so there's like flaws and stuff on it, but I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Oh my god, she's a dog. <gasps> She's fast asleep or something. We need to get her a teddy. <gasps> we should get her Did a London teddy. Cats get teddy. Yeah, apparently, look. <laughs> oh, oh that is a cute little kitten. She's a baby. Look at the size of those whiskers. Do you know what the whiskers are for? No, I was going to say smelling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not for smelling what whiskers for. They, they're like, um, they sense, like, the if movement? you get through doors. Oh, really? Yeah. And gaps and stuff? Uh -huh. How cool is that? That's why they're so good at getting through things. Because they know oh, yeah, right, if yeah. the whiskers won't touch I'll them. buy that, even if it's not true. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll wing it. Oh, does ours have that? Oh, it does. I like that. Look at this hotel card key. That is sick. I can't wait to add this to my collection. This place used to be a really grand old place. Look at this. Marble the entire way up and down. Like nine stories. That makes a lot of money. Whoa. Turned up at the right time to this hotel. It's busy as hell. Good timing, wife. Okay, this is where we're staying and this is a nice ass hotel. However, that's the Corinthian or Corinthia. And that is probably, I think, the best rated hotel in all of London. Oh damn, look at this. There's a nice ass Ferrari. There's a red one down there and then one in black. You know, for whatever color day of the week. And then a A170 Mercedes. Who drives Mercedes? Oh. <laughs> People who crash the massive. God damn, there's some good, there's some big old titties. Yeesh. Wow, came down to London on a very nice day. Whoa, what's this? Who's this guy? Hello? The Gurkha soldier. Oh, okay. Hey, hi. We are pretty much in the center of, cent, center of, center of London. London right now. 
But I've got to take, I've got to take you to the sign. I'll explain there. I'm not actually sightseeing, but if I see some stuff, I'll throw it in the vlog. So if you're not from England or you've never been to London, I will show you the places. For example, that place down there is where 10 Downing Street, where our Prime Minister, she currently lives. I was actually quite expecting some protesters out here or something like that, but no. But like, 10 Downing Street is just down there and on the right, look. Downing Street. And there's so many goddamn guards with guns in London right now. Aha, you can see it just from here. Just there. Kind of makes no sense, but when I was younger, my dad brought me and my sister down to London and took a memorable photo of, not in front of Buckingham Palace or Big Ben or anything like that, took a photo with us outside this sign here. It really doesn't make sense, but he did. And now every time I'm here, I take a photo outside it with whoever I'm with. Now, I send that photo to my dad just to be like, I'm down in London thinking of you. We're gonna be fixing Big Ben for restoration reasons, but check that out. Oh my God, they're putting like a huge concrete wall around it. Okay, thanks boys, appreciate it. Sad as it is, Big Ben for four years will no longer be chiming. They've turned it off. I cry. Crazy and as sad as this is, this is where, this is the bridge where there was that terrorist attack where they drove into the group of people and just chaos got caused. They tried to crash it into Westminster. So obviously since then they've installed all these massive barriers to stop cars being able to mount the curb. Crazy for this. This never used to be here. Yeah, yeah, you look great. You look so great, so great right now. We, cho we chose a day. We did it. Look at that. A really cutesy photo. Haha, <laughs> me and Big Ben and Chewbacca over here. <laughs> Big Ben. Oh god, yeah, I meant I meant, I meant London Eye, not Big Ben. Yeah, thanks. Cheers for that. Oh, you better know. We found one. We found one. Right there. Ice cream van. I knew it. How much is he going to charge me for a 99? It used to be one pound. One pound. And now he's charging, holy shit, three pound fifty. Bloody hell. Right, no replicating Ibiza. Do not drop it in the sand. <laughs> At least there's no sand. Yeah, if you, if you drop your ice cream in London, do not pick it up and lick it. Why? You will die of like, I don't know, the plague or something like that. Mmm. <laughs> All these people, right, are queuing, but then there's a queue that goes from that wall all the way to the end of that wall. It's like a three hour wait. It's a three hour wait to go in a 30 minute circle. Jeez. Thoughts on London Eye? Um, like doing it or just yeah. looking at it? Doing it. Get the board. But it is a good view, but you might as well just go up the shard. It takes you five minutes to get up there. They're very roomy though, as pods though. Yeah, definitely do it if you've never done it in your life, but if you've done it once, you, you don't need to do it again. We can totally get our photos of marriage and <laughs> with an ice cream van behind us. Like, why not? That, that's a perfect idea. I don't think it's... Uh, are you ready to be art critics? Like, proper art critics. What do you see when you look at this? What do you see here? It's called International Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I don't see anything. Oh, this is no. all the. Oh, oh, this is where they're getting married. Then that is the second stop, Green Park. Wait for me. Do you want to know a really pretty grim fact? What? Do you know what they are? Doors. Anti suicide doors. No. Yeah, because I think it's like when they put it in the most common places where people used to throw themselves under the track. So now they put them there because when the train comes, they can't throw themselves in front of it. Mm. So now it's so like, now it pulls up and then the doors open afterwards. Makes sense. There you go. Whoa! This is the Embassy of Japan. Cool. What on earth is that? Not that. that. Is that a Porsche? Oh, wait. This is it. It knew. They got a shoe shine guy in here. Yo, this place is hella fancy. No, it smells nice. I hope I don't have to wear a shirt. Um, I just wore a long sleeve all seat shirt. That's like a child. You can always get in sparkly trainers. I like a unicorn child. Unicorn. <laughs> I just look like a bum. Ooh, this is where we're going. So, did Tim and the family recommend a good place? <laughs> <laughs> look at that for a view. We're literally the first people in here because we have to go to the theatre in two hours. We have to be there before it closes. But that is a mega, mega view of London. Tim, if you somehow see this, thank you for the recommendation. The food isn't actually that expensive, that like that's good. But for a bottle of Budweiser, it's nine quid. How cool is that? They give you postcards for you to be able to send 
and they send them for free. So because I've got Connor's address, who we met in Ibiza, we're gonna fill it out and we'll send one to Tim and his wife. Tim and his wife and then Connor and his sister. That's me. I present to you the most amazing drawing in the world of me and Lydia. <laughs> Stop. Wow, you have an amazing restaurant. Look at that. Yes, yes. <laughs> And then with wow. This is truly a. I love that we're the only people here right now. This is a beautiful restaurant. That, that's Buckingham Palace. No. <laughs> I've actually never seen the back of it. Oh, there's tons of people walking like, around it. There's free, uh, free shots. <laughs> what is it? Soup? <laughs> Melon. Melon. Oh, okay. I don't like fruit. Cheese, Cheese. I don't like fruit. Cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening to my It's really It's got a nice aftertaste, but the, the initial kick. It's just empty dust. <laughs> I know, by the way, in all the videos where you've ever heard a, a girl laughing in the background. It was me. It was Lydia. <laughs> you like that? Mmm, <laughs> a quiet taste. The starter, the Iberico ham. Yellowfish, yellow. Thin? Thin? Yellow, yellow thin tuna? Yeah, and melon. Oh, that looks like a Oh, you got a bit of caviar in there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Look at that, that fancy. Yeah, mm hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Oh, this good. I probably should have dipped it with that much sauce though. Yeah, that does look good. <laughs> but mine looks better. My dish, seriously, it's got peas in it. I don't even like peas. And yeah, I scoop my food like that. I'm not a, I'm not a professional English person who's supposed to, supposed to serve it like this. Mm -mm. This dish might actually be a solid 10 out of 10. Like, true story. Yo, that's nice, I did try it, but that for me is like a seven. That's a seven. This is a ten. How you can tell that was an absolutely incredible dish. Bad man, thing of getting a piece of bread and cleaning my plate. Mm, okay, you win. This is the one dish that you win. That looks perfect. I'm so excited right now. You got like bananas, bananas with glazed sugar on it and stuff like that. Like ice cream and everything. And then I got cheese. You but cheese. badass crackers. Look at that for a cracker. Why is that? Have you ever seen a cracker like that? Mate, I'd feed that to my pet rabbit. <laughs> oh my gosh, Oh, it's in little holders. Whoa, look at that. Try this, try, try, try. Cracker holder. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Warm banana. But it's so good. <laughs> so delicious. But that's so weird. But it's so good. <laughs> that is actually really nice. Chantilly cream though. Mm. Oh my god, I never thought I'd have one, but oh, it tastes like a... Have you never had barbecue banana? What is wrong with you? What? No. Have you, ever, have you ever eaten a banana that's like a bit too warm in a car? No. Yeah, I didn't think the answer was going to be <laughs> yeah, but it tastes kind of like that, but with a really nice taste. I completely destroyed these cheeses. This was supposed to be the weakest, then that, then this, then that, then that, then this. But so far, the second cheese was the strongest. I'm about to try the last one. This one was kind of like mushy. I'm gonna try the last one. Look how sour that is. Yeah. That is genuine mold. Look at it. Is it sour? Yeah, it's like zingy sour. Well, it, that one was. I'm gonna try this one. That is strong. I'm so full. Triple time. Homemade marshmallows. Strawberry marshmallows. Strawberry and what? Lime. Strawberry and lime. Go on, you got to try one. Strawberry or lime? Oh, strawberry. What's this? Oh. Dang. You, oh, God. Wow. Yes, yeah, so we'll, 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 we'll take them into the theatre with us. <laughs> we'll smuggle a snack into the theatre. Thank you, sir. I've got no bag. Oh, I'll just put it. Oh, 
fucking jumper. Yeah. As I said, <laughs> I just put it down my pants or something like that, but then I just... <laughs> don't think I want to say that that loud in this restaurant. Smuggle the chocolates, let's go. You're a genius. This is why you like me, You're then. a genius, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not having any of these. I'm smuggling. Mate, that is brilliant. <laughs> I'm actually well impressed with that. I think we could sell that for like 30 quid. <laughs> in London, you could. Oh, yeah, in London, they get 50 for that. This bathroom is hella nice. Look at that. I like how they give you little hand towels to wash your hands in and just throw them in there. So fancy. We got here just in time. Like, just, we were about to run out, the, get out the taxi. And run, imagine if we got the train. We not have made, we would not have made it. Wouldn't have made it. We've got our tickets. Gotta go take our seats. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to film any of this, or maybe a little bit of it. But yeah. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going. Stuck in traffic in the theatre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the book of moment. All right, so this is a comedy. I, I really don't know what to expect. So. Oh. Oh my god, it's absolutely... G20, 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 keep going, keep going. Wow, this looks, these are some pretty good seats. Is this us? Yeah, right in the middle. Yo, these are some solid seats right here, right? Well played. <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that. Oh, so Do you enjoy it? Oh, she's dying! <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but that was so good. I'm going to assume this is just a twerk fest or a dance session. Are you going to get involved? <laughs> I didn't even notice I was texting on my phone. Trafalgar Square. Oh. I don't, I don't know if I want to get on a lion, <laughs> but I'll take a photo of a lion. The lion. Do you know what that's called? No. Nelson's Column. Actually, I don't know that actually. That could be a complete lie, but it's either Nelson's Monument, Nelson's Column, and if it's not Nelson, then cool. <laughs> I just refer to girls that I'm seeing. <laughs> it's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're my one and only. Good girl. Not exactly where we were supposed to be right now, but we're new dawn, new day. We've travelled off from the hotel, checked out, and now I'm in a new place. This is not our home for the night or anything like that. We're, we're going to Paris. So if you want to find out whether or not I make it to Paris on time, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn your notifications on by ding donging that bell. And I see you guys at, say, 6 o'clock? Six? Six? See you guys at 6 o'clock-ish. Uh, tomorrow for the next day of vlog. So, like Crane, ding dong, and I'll see you guys then. Sayos. <sighs> and by the way, just want to say a massive thank you for everyone being polite and mature and respectful towards my wife.